Hello everyone. So in this video we are going to discuss the script interface in HFSS. So the script interface is very useful tool when it comes to design automation. So what I do is that I open the HFSS and I open this new new project. Right. So now what I do here I go to tools and I go to record script to file. Actually what happens uh, in HFSS the problem is that uh, with every launch we know that every HFSS releases a new version every year and with every launch the script slightly changes so you cannot write um, it is possible but it is not always helpful if you uh, memorize the script syntax and all these things so what I usually do is that I just so I just, I just record a script I'm showing you how it is done. So see HFSS supports two types of scripts. One is PV script and one is Python script. So but remember this is Iron Python, right? Iron Python. So Iron Python is a .NET implementation of Python. So the main uh, advantage is that uh, it is native to Microsoft. So we know that Microsoft has this .NET platform and this Iron Python is implemented in .NET. So I just go for this script one and I'm going to make a Python script because I am more comfortable with Python. So if you are more comfortable with PV, you can go for PV script, Python basic script. So I make it script one. Actually this Python was not there in old versions of HFSS, just in new versions we have this. Are there some of the versions said JavaScript? So now it is recording so if I click stop recording then it will stop but I want to record something so let's make a box okay so we have recorded the box stop script recording so now our this is the script for this box okay so you can see now see we the names are restored right if you you cannot run this project if you rename this file the name is project one so that name same name is here so this name the project name should be same this is the project name then the design name is hfss design one this name all these names should be restored right so again this is handy if you uh, record the script for your particular uh, project or particular particular file because these names will automatically come so what I will now do is I will first uh, make a rectangular paths using this script okay. so for rectangular paths I need three of this three of this or say four of this boxes right. let's say the first box is we name it the first box will be ground plan and here okay i'll not so say about the color right now here for this uh, box uh, let's say our starting point is minus 25 exposition this is minus 25 this is minus 1.55 so i'm just putting some values and so this is the 50 mm by 50 mm block 50 mm by 50 mm block and this is ground plan and uh, let's say our metal is copper okay sorry this will be 0 0.05 okay so minus 25 minus 25 minus 1.55 and 50 50 0 0.05 and for this we have minus 50 minus 50 minus 1.5 minus 25 sorry my so you will uh, see the what what i'm doing once the uh, once we run the code so this will be 1.5 again i'm not setting the color this will be fr4 epoxy 
Okay. okay. So let's just run this and see what happens. I will just run this. I've made two boxes and I will just run this code and see what happens. So I delete this and I run the code. So it will take some time to run. Okay. So you can see we have this box. One box is copper, which is ground plane, and the other box is FR40 epoxy. Right? I have not given the name here. So let's see the color first. Let's see what are the colors. So what I do here, I make another record and let's name it suppose REC record one and here I'll change the color I select this one crown plane and I change the color to the copper color and for this FR4 I make it let's give it grey color Or you can give any color. Okay. So again, I stop this. Stop recording. So you can find the code for changing colors. So this is the code for changing colors. So these are basically the RGB values for the color. We know that any color can be represented by RGB. So for this ground plan, we have this color 255, 128, 0. And for this FR4 we have this 192, 192, 192. So what I do here is that I open this script and I give this color. For this copper we have 255, 128, 0, 255, 128, 0. And for this FR4, sorry, don't give the comma, just give space. You have to maintain the syntax, right? It is 192, 192, 192. 192, 192, 192. Okay. So now let's make the pads. Again, something we have done wrong. Wrong. Uh, for this copper, since this copper is a metal, so we have to make this solve inside false. We always do that. Do this. Is automatically done solving inside solid with high conductivity metal require large mesh so this is a problem so whenever we deal with a large mesh or any kind of conductor we have to make sure that this is false right so I just copy this because our patch will also have the same color So the, for the pads, let's say we make a 20 mm by 20 mm pads. So this will be 10 minus 10 minus 10. This will be 0. And we have the 20 mm by 20 mm pads. And we have the 0 0.05 mm. Okay. Uh, the name should be pads. Again, these things will remain same because we are again making copper. Uh, for this we have this is the feed point feed feed you can say feed so the feed will also be made of copper but it will start from minus 25 let's say it is 2 mm so this will be from minus 25 to 20 so so from minus 25 to 10 so it will be 15 mm in length and this will be 2 mm So I am just doing the calculations in mind but you can do it yourself to see what result you get. So again I have to delete all these things. So I just press Ctrl A and delete. Now I run the script again. So you can see my script is created. right? It is as simple as that. right? So you can make many designs whatever you want to do here you can make a script like this 
and make it automatic right so what I do here is that now I'll show you when again if you want to unite this then again I can make a script for this I record to script let's say this is make it python let's say this is rec record 2 here we will see how to unite this take this take this and unite right so this is record 2 and you can see here we have the code for unite now if i take this copy this and paste it sorry paste it in the main file paste it in the main file and we will see that this unit is also done right so you can design this like if you want to design many antennas like this then we can easily do that with this but again this is not very helpful but I am showing you something where it is more commonly used for example say I want to make some cases here I want to make 20 I want to make 20 cuts right in this 20 mm length or oh, let's make it slightly bigger uh, let's make this let's make this slightly bigger let's say that our for the paths okay I have not set the name here this will not be box one make, let's make this box because I have not changed the name so this is still box one fr4 uh, let's name it substrate okay and let's say that the path is a bit bigger since our it is 50 by 50 so what I can make it I can make it 30 by 40 so for this paths if it is 30 by 40 then it will be minus 15 sorry let's, let's say it is minus 20 this is minus 15 and let's make this 40 and make this 30 so in this case our uh, this this will be only 5 mm long, long so you can see here if I delete this I delete the whole thing now it is bigger one and I will now cut some slots here so what I want to do here is that I want to make some cuts. Uh, suppose this is paths. Uh, this is from minus 20 to 20, and from this minus 16 to 16, I want to make some cuts. Uh, so let's see how many cuts will be there. Uh, let's say the width of one cut will be one millimeter, and between two cuts we have one millimeter gap, right? So there will be many cuts. So in practical case, uh, what you have to do is that you have to actually calculate uh, what should be the length and how much should be the spacing but since I just want to show you how to make a script so I make a record Python script and let's name it script 2 and let me show you how this cut will look like let's say this is minus 16 sorry yes from minus 16 uh, this is minus 10 0 and this is 1 uh, let's say this is 20 0 0.05 so this kind of this kind of from minus 16 to 16 I need this kind of slots there will be too many slots uh, there should be around 16 slots if I have repeatedly one after another okay so I have to cut it from box 1 from paths okay so our this is the script we have the script 
for that okay so this is the Python script we have so you can see we have to coordinate basically we have to change the coordinate and we have to subtract right so I have to do it in a for loop right so let's say for x equal to sorry x in range so this is python so I have to use the python language minus 16 to 16 and our let's say our step size is 2 our step size is 2 because uh, the gap uh, the width of one uh, slot is 1 mm and there will be 1 mm gap after that so this is why we have 2 uh, now since this is python so what I have to do is that I have to make it I have to give the steps so again this is a tds work in notepad so instead of notepad you can use some other tool where you can just select everything and give one tab but right now I don't want to change to some other software okay so I have to give a tab before every line okay so I'm done okay so what I have to do here is that I have to give this strx plus mm right because this is string so this will contain the value of x minus 16 then minus 14 minus 12 like that, like that and I have, I have this right okay so let's see if it works so it will not work because there is an error here but I'm, I want to show you how an error looks like in this okay see there is an error so you can see here the error is that uh, we have not changed the name because for every box our name is same box 1 right so I have to take care of the name so you can see here the problem is box 1 is already used so you cannot have a second part which has this name so it has changed the name to box 1 1 and then you have nothing to subtract because there is no name because we are, we are again subtracting this box 1 not box 1 underscore 1 so this is, this is creating the problem right so this is how the error looks like just by reading this error you can understand so actually see there are some problem how the error looks like let's see so there is an error with line 31 right so what is the 31 you can see line 31 is the subtract because while executing this since box 1 is already available it automatically changes the name to box 1 underscore 1 but at the time of subtracting we want to subtract the box 1 but box 1 is already subtracted nothing to subtract so that is why we are getting the errors so what you can do is that you can just press ctrl z as many times as you like or as it is needed to make it clean again so what I have to do here is that I have to give a name let's say there is another variable I have name equal to 1 or let's say name equal to 0 at every iteration we will name it name plus equal to 1 so I will increment the name every iteration so here what I do is that instead of making this box 1 what I do right so the same thing I will do here right now it should work so now I run the script oh, sorry now I run the script script 2 and it works right so you can see there are so many boxes there are exactly 16 boxes because from minus 16 to 16 it is 32 and in between every 16 we have one blank right so this is how it works so is it interesting so this is really interesting because it helps in making such complex design in a short time because you can imagine uh, making this design manually it will take a lot of time and we can do a lot of things using this script and I will try to make some more videos on this topic I hope you like this so thank you